Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death uh, series with World of Warcraft Hardcore. And it is time for our Frost Mage to continue his journey. Since the last time I reran uh, Wailing Caverns, I did that off screen simply because I didn't want repeat content. And we got lucky this time. Not only did I get the sli uh, slime encrusted pads, which finally give us really decent shoulder pads, but we also finished the main quest, giving us a fantastic staff uh, that will boost our stats. Uh, self buffed, we are now uh, coming in at almost 650 hit points, which is fantastic, and uh, 1400 mana on top of it. Got two rings and uh, I think with the exception of one item, our Bracer, everything else is uh, magic and relatively well statted. So we made it to Sunrock Retreat and uh, we are going to quest a little bit uh, right here. Um, uh, in terms of leveling, I improved Frostbolt a little bit more and now we're coming to the really nice parts. Frost Channeling for meta mana consumption and Arctic Reach will both be huge before we go to Ice Block. So that all um, has made us uh, much stronger but also will allow us to play safer. Today we're going to uh, investigate a couple of goblins here as well as uh, go with uh, the order um, of uh, whatever it is. Girenzo is his name. That's our first question. Uh, so let's move over there and give it a go. Before we go on to this quest though, we are currently doing a little group quest. This bad boy here, Blasius. Besseleth, sorry, is going to be target of our attention. There is a group quest uh, for them. Just need to get some mana. And once we do have that, we should be fine. Found a druid uh, that will help us here. Good. That should not be a big problem. The issue uh, with uh, that spider in particular is it has a web and that makes the whole fight a little bit more problematic combined uh, with a quite nastily ticking poison. You can see even a bear tank is taking quite a bit of damage. Very good, I'll fast forward to our questing. Alrighty, so we have gotten the quest and finished it. Uh, that will allow us to kind of trade in the whole uh, Arachnophobe uh, or Re Arachno quest there, but there are a couple more quests. So number one, we need to kill a number of uh, loggers. Number two, we will need to get the Super Reaper 6000 blueprints. Number three, there is Genzo's order up here. So let's see if we can do all three of them. We are neatly buffed. Let's do a little bit more of a self buff and try to avoid most of the wildlife here whilst we're moving to our target. I'll fast forward until we're there and then we're going to start the questing. Good, we are in the middle of the action here. The doggers should be a big problem. They just throw their little axes, but uh, we got 600 armor now. 
which will make physical attacks way less potent against us. Still recharging. So these loggers are hitting us for 30 and we're in between the attacks are even regenerating three. Thanks to our shoulders. Not that our self-regeneration is really very good, but every little bit counts, right? You can see we can play a tiny bit more aggressive, don't need to drink between all of the pulls. And that's really why I wanted to have better gear to get a few level uh, levels where we don't always need to threaten every single uh, double pull that we're having. I mean, it's fun to play uh, with bad equipment because then you really need to showcase what you're made of, but at the same time, uh, it's not fun to re-level your character. So getting stuff out of instances is a good means to solve uh, the equipment problem. These Venture Co. Um, coordinators are basically the, the ones uh, that we need to kill for the schematics. And yeah, I'm not 100% sure if we want to get in there. That's a closed of or sealed of area. Listen, if I can clear all of uh, the mobs easy peasy out here, and it just so happen that we can move in, sure, why not? But I'm not going out of my way to go into a closed, confined room with casters. That sounds like a terrible idea. All right, we're going to clear this area here. So a little bit of a fast forward for you guys. All right, Beck, I needed to take a short break. On an unrelated note, I do have a... Uh, I do have a new spell, which is Counter Spell. Uh, so no more problems. And on a yet unrelated note, uh, we have uh, recently uh, recently been invited to uh, Shadowfang Keep. Which means we're going to leave this questing here for another time and we're going to use our absolutely good ability to teleport to any major city. Well, not yet any because Thunder Bluff we will get at 30, but uh, to teleport to another city so that we can get to Shadowfang Keep, which is going to be an interesting uh, adventure for us. We are the right level I would say 24 is good uh, slightly under what you want to be from a hardcore perspective but I am assuming that we do have a good uh, group so let me get to the dungeon all right so we have made our way to Shadowfin Keep oh, let's talk a little bit about Shadowfin Keep for those of you who are not familiar with the dungeon it's a very caster rich dungeon as in uh, there are quite a few caster and anti-casters in there and specifically the boss Arugal is one uh, that might cause a couple of problems. I've oftentimes seen groups fail here and it's the first kind of little step up uh, to 
the la latest or later dungeons, Ritual Chasm and um, Wailing Caverns. It was kind of the third iteration. It's the first dungeon where, due to stupidity or just um, incorrect positioning, you could really screw yourself up. Apparently, though, we do ha uh, have a well-prepared group. I'm rocking my little health elixir as well as lesser armor, and for the sake of like taking it a bit more serious, let's also get a well-fed buff just to make sure that uh, mm, the first few pulls are not a complete disaster. From a mage perspective, we need to de curse a couple of uh, times so whenever appropriate I will need to decurse there are a couple of healing reduction oh, apologies it's a little bit later here um, a couple of healing reduction curses Good, let's see what our tank does. Well, certainly not waiting for sheep, that's for sure. But listen. These guys are rather easy to kill. If we are running into problems here, things are not going to look good for the rest of the dungeon. That's not a bad omen. The mage just uh, ripped in the barons. Okay, let's see how serious uh, people are taking it. Well, the tank for sure is making sure that we're not having multiple, en multiple enemies pulled at once. But all of this here is just warm up. Tank knows how to use a ranged uh, weapon to pull, but he's not too bad. And that's the first boss. To 
typically has a couple of abilities, but uh, normally doesn't really have the ability to uh, to use them. Problem solved. Didn't even drop anything. Uh, now we got the key. Guys, you looted the key, right? Oh no, no never mind. Arm, uh, Adarment uh, is opening the door. Yeah, it's been a while that I've been here, man. Like the motivation. Cleverly enough, is taking the controls first. If you do see uh, people moving in a dungeon, then that's typically a good sign that you want to take these guys first. anti-magic uh, fields. Not much that I can do there. Good, the tank is now m marking the main target. Cute. <laughs> I like it how everybody's taking this very, very seriously. Better this way than having a clown fiesta. smart to pull uh, that area because now we're in a better position Fabulous. Good, everybody is definitely taking it serious. reasonably fast pull so I like what I'm seeing the group is working well I 
I just need to watch my mana because uh, when he continues to pull that fast. We're in a continuous fight. Actually, one of the cleanest uh, ways that I've seen it uh, done. I can tell you, uh, I've done this dungeon a lot of times uh, when we were uh, leveling in back in the good old days. And granted, people were just going wild. Can't remember the last time that someone actually took the time so nicely to pull everything individually. I guess the stakes are different if you're playing hardcore than everybody's mainly concerned about playing it safe so I can understand where everybody's coming from and I don't mind I mean believe it or not if you are quickly and continu uh, continuously killing mobs you're still earning a decent amount of uh, experience I remember there is a paladin quest around those horses. Not a hundred percent sure what it is. seems to start getting bored so he wants to support with more DPS that's fine That should have dispelled that curse much earlier. Good, Rage Claw. Another boss. I'll see some drops this time. Oh my god, no one is even healing. I like this one, it has a lot of stamina on it.
apparently he doesn't want the sheep. Interpreting my symbol, which by the way we mentioned prior to the group uh, being the sheep symbol, as the main target symbol, but whatever. There is uh, the next boss right there. Baron Silverdain. He has a healing debuff. So here I will definitely need to uh, decurse. Immediately decursed his stupid veil of shadows, which is a healing uh, reduction. And yeah, Baron didn't really stand any chance. All right, so far, relatively <laughs> speaking, yeah. safe. And I've put up my new robe. The one with extra stamina. Fabulous. So, so far he pulled very nicely. We only had like one triplet. guys are undead so there is no sheeping One of those typical situations where just by pulling the entire room instead of leaving a couple of uh, them uh, back wherever they are, you can make it so much uh, safer.
All right, the commander joined. We're just quickly getting the heads down. Unfortunately, I can't really CC anyone. That will be a good shield for our tank. You will love it. All right, moving on. Uh, this is the soft reset uh, position where if you're messing it up, you can always try to jump down. Later on this side here, you can even jump to the entrance. So both of it is helpful just to escape. And having an escape plan is always helpful regardless if you're playing hardcore or not Little single pulls. I like what I'm seeing. That is not clever to go for a little. Yes, someone else has broken my sheep, so I thought we were going for the bats. Odo has a buff that continuously ticks up and the bats are dealing more and more damage. Yeah, fighting here is not a clever idea, but okay, whatever. First little mistake the tank made so far. Rest was fine. So this here is the hard reset in case you're in a lot of uh, trouble.
got decursing. And finally, I got a bracer upgrade. That's so good. Our bracer absolutely uh, needs that want. upgrade. Cool. Look at that. We're at 1,500 mana. That's not bad. Instead of debating loot, how about you guys actually rebuff? Yep, the next room is the one that typically makes or breaks uh, that part of uh, the run. Now he shows us uh, how to jump down. So kind of him. Appreciate it. Okay, well, let's go. Let's see how our tank is doing. All right, he needs to go to the toilet. We'll fast forward that. Okay, tank is back, we are back, let's go. Uh, so the reason why everybody is kind of so up in arms uh, is the next part, there are a lot of casters and they hit qu uh, quite hard. So he just buffs himself. And he even gets the food going. A well fed buff. So, yeah. <laughs> he even enhances his weapon. Okay, well, the guys are definitely prepping. see our wonderful son Svarugal. Last time they patrolled the forest, this time they're basically standing here. Uh, 
Guys, don't fight. Let the tank do his job. And we're going to be fine, hopefully. Not much I can do against them in horror. Down here in the interface, you can always see who's being targeted. So the thing is holding good aggro. For the instances, I should also get a scrolling combo text uh, add-on. One that lets me know if and when I do have aggro. Say what you will, but the tank is really trying hard to individually pull second son of Arogal I think there were three if I'm not mistaken good I like it when the tank is playing a little bit more cautious it tells you that he's valuing his life it isn't just randomly exploring a dungeon for the funsies because the dungeon is the only time when I don't have uh, more or less full control over uh, kind of how my character can or cannot survive. Curse of Arugal. And look at that. The party actually worked very well that was a clean uh, overall pull could have been even cleaner if the rope would go down and zap but i think that's potentially asking too much
Fabulous. We made it through this room without any major problems. Kudos to the tank. Played it really well. This is actually a good showcase video of how to do uh, Shadow Fang Keep. Very little blunders so far. Of course, you can always improve on the speed, but think about it that way. Uh, these guys never uh, played together before. And the curse was interrupted yet again. Not bad. Good, we're nearing the spicy part. This is Fenris. Fenris is pretty much tank and spank. Doesn't have any abilities other than hit hard. Interfere with the sons of Aragal. Very good. So, Aragal showed himself for the first time. If I'm not mistaken, yep, the book of Yor is here. Good, which brings Zoni to Aroga. Who is a tough uh, piece of work? This guy is having pretty nasty nukes. So I am considering, since there is a bit of a uh, hard hitting potential, I am considering giving myself damper magic. Reduces the healing that I get, but also reduces uh, the damage uh, that I'm receiving from magical effects. So, we are as buffed as uh, one can be with that particular group. Uh, let's face Aruga. Can always drop down here. I forgot uh, there was the wolf master before him.
Right, if I recall correctly, he had nothing major going on for him. Oh, Wavering Will, okay, yeah, one debuff. Four agility and two stamina. Yeah, you know, we got better capes. Now the interesting part will be how do we do against Aruga, who should be in the next room. Drinks are ready and fully served. Oh yeah, I remember, he teleported from a couple of platforms, but before we... Before we engage uh, with him, let's clear the area. Arugal will be teleporting around quite a bit, but that's not a problem. I really appreciate the dedication of uh, this thing. Very calm slowly and with around 35 minutes of runtime um, well 40 minutes of runtime we weren't even taking very very long Two shall serve. I'm out of range. Somehow I broke the sound. Good, we're going to do this without sound. Tank still has aggro. Tank is being taken down and Arugal is being taken down. Oh, and we got nice, sweet, sweet ropes of Arugal. Plus the head of Arugal. Fabulous. So, in terms of audio, I think... I accidentally... Uh, clicked uh, off the sound mid combat due to control E, which apparently seems to be the uh, sound uh, shortcut. But we got ourselves some nice little ropes here. 
Look at that. Fabulous, sweet, sweet ropes, which now has gotten us like what? Uh, nice spirit, 90 mana, fi uh, 50 health. That's actually quite good. The agility, not so much, but the rest is very good. So we'll be using those for a while, simply because uh, they have a lot of stats. And that was Shadowfin Keep. So, given that it is late here and that we have uh, very successfully ended the dungeon, I think a little ending of the episode is due. Thanks a lot for watching. So far, again, we've made it uh, out alive. And now it's just a matter of trading in the quests and uh, continuing in the next episode. Uh, we're almost level 25, which is good. We're nearing that level 30 threshold, which if we go by the coin flip uh, rule, we would have only 12.5% uh, of the players reaching that level. So that's not bad at all if we were to make it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.